What's up, guys? It's Elon Friends, and we're back with another movie review. And we just saw the movie Captain Marvel. This movie is showing Captain Marvel with her cool powers, and she's just fighting bad guys. And it takes place in the 90s. You get to see your boy Nick Fury, and you get to see Phil Coulson. And yeah, it's a pretty fun ride. And you want to give your opinion about it first? You want me to give my opinion about it first? Uh, I guess I'll give my opinion. Uh, uh, it was pretty good, actually. Though some of the CGI was kind of like uh, silly. But mo but the, pretty much the entire movie was actually really, really good. And I, the humor, the humor of the character was actually really nice. I actually really enjoyed the humor. Uh, yeah, and pretty much this is her fighting bad guys, learning her, about her powers. To my opinion about this movie, I think the movie's good. It's at the part where it's almost great, but not great. It's good. It's, I will put it, it probably wouldn't, it wouldn't even be, it'll probably be in my top five Marvel movies, not in my top three. I enjoyed it, but I didn't really enjoy it as much as I thought I was going to, like, I, I like it. it's the first uh, standalone female superhero movie for Marvel, but it's not the best. I think Wonder Woman beats this. Like, yeah, Wonder Woman outclasses this movie by a long shot, in my opinion. This movie was fun and all, but it, I don't know, it, was, it felt weird. This movie really felt weird to me. Yeah, it had, it had just had a weird feeling to it. Yeah, I don't know really what it is, but I don't know. It, like, it never felt like anything really stuck that much out to me, really, besides the 90s thing. Like, yeah, re nothing really stuck out to me, really, in this movie, because we've seen Alien Worlds before, and superheroes, Nick Fury, Coulson, and all that. And we already seen the Kree, we seen the scrolls, and... And 90s is pretty much it, uh, it's the only thing that really makes it stick out. Then following a new character, but besides that, it's not really really much new to it in my opinion but yeah I enjoyed the movie I enjoyed Coulson even though he wasn't really in that movie that much at all I'm kind of no, about maybe yeah. 10 minutes at most if that I was time. I was kind of disappointed with that then uh Ronan and the other guy they brought back from Guardians of the Galaxy they wasn't really in it at all either like you could have not even put Ronan in the movie at all really yeah Ronan I, only showed up here like yeah you didn't even really need to put him in the movie but uh, how they uh, left the movie is they left it uh, for a sequel, so I don't know if they're gonna have the sequel take place after Endgame, or they probably they're probably gonna take it place uh, in between because they have a 23 year gap. So they're probably gonna do what they did with uh, Wonder Woman, where they just have and fill up and then build up to that part. The acting was good in this movie. I like the acting. I like I like uh, Cara Danvers' uh, best friend. I really like her. Oh she yeah, was, she was. That real, that I was something her. different they they did in the uh, more movie. They never really like show like a family really side of that. I really liked that. I like the daughter too. So that was real nice. And I, I like the scrolls. The scrolls was not what I expected. And I don't want to talk about the villains in this movie because it's pretty much a spoiler all together. Like that whole entire area talking about the villains. So I won't even talk about that. But another thing about the Kree, I mean the scrolls, I know it's probably a lot. So some people will be really upset at how they handle the uh, scrolls in this movie. Like I don't, I don't care. But I know a lot of people will be like, what? This is... People just... Yeah, the music was good. I like the music too. There was music. <laughs> they played the '90s music. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I really enjoyed seeing Nick Fury as a younger self and uh, him being happy and stuff before he has all those trust issues. And he's like, "Man, I hate the world." He's all happy and stuff. Didn't stand out. Yeah, it really did. Stand it wasn't. Out. It was pretty good. Yeah, but it was it good. Was just it just something about it. Just yeah, something didn't. About it. Stick, Maybe like if I Infinity see, War or Black yeah. Panther or something like that, it just and, and it felt really small scale, really too, yeah. in my opinion. But uh, if you probably if you see this movie again, maybe you like it better the second time. And before, don't hate comment because one, Captain Marvel is my favorite uh, superhero in Marvel, okay? And I like Marvel better than DC. Just don't even come at me like that, okay? Okay? But yeah, this movie's good. It's right almost to the great part, but it's like it's good. It's good. <laughs> Yeah, I recommend uh, watch. It, I recommend watching it, but don't come in expecting some Infinity War level stuff. Infinity War, Civil War, or uh, Winter Soldier, or Black Panther stuff. It's it's not like that. The fighting was really good. The combos she had, ooh, she had that fight combos. And I have another complaint though about this movie. What's the team that she, the Kree team that she had? 
none of them really stuck out. They were just all Yeah, they were just there. None of them stuck out. Like, I was expecting the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy to st- uh, stick out. They didn't even highlight him. And the girl, she she was there. She had a couple lines, and I guess. But, yeah, besides that, you didn't really care about those people. Yeah, they were just very, like, born. They were just very warm. Actually, I don't even think they even said their, uh, some of their names for, like, a hot minute. Like, I don't even think some of their names were even mentioned. I don't even think some of their names like that's how you know that they didn't care about them really. There was one guy that was on the team that you compl- that they didn't even like look at for most of the movie. He showed up like three times in total, I think, in the whole movie. That one, I don't know if you remember him. <laughs> he had like no arm. He had like no like helmet on or anything. He was just like a soft, like baby face dude. He he just showed up like three times. But yeah. Besides that, like the movie, like uh, we'll say it again, the movie was good. It just didn't have a blockbuster or a memorable thing really too. Besides Captain Marvel and Nick Fury and uh, uh, Miss uh, Captain Marvel's best friend. Besides that, you're like, I don't know. The rest of the movie kind of felt stalish to me. Like it was good, but not memorable. Maybe if we watch it a couple more times, you'd be like, okay. But if you got to choose to watch Infinity War again or Winter Soldier or something like that, you probably watch that. Also, I like. I did like the message of this movie. When you get knocked down, you keep on getting up. No matter how many times you get knocked down, just keep on trying and eventually, eventually. And just... if you keep getting up, you might get cool alien superpowers. I'm telling you, you could become Super Saiyan. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So yeah, dro- uh, drop a like if you like the video. If you got anything else to say, say it in the comments. And then we got a spoiler review as well. Peace out to next time. Subscribe to if you're not subscribed.